Hey everyone, my name is Bethany and I'm the training manager here at ESWare. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a campaign in O365. I'll show you how to add recipients to a campaign, create a multi-touch campaign, and personalize your campaign so each recipient gets a customized communication. To access and create your campaigns, go to the menu section of the YesWare sidebar and select campaigns. And this is going to open up your campaigns dashboard where all of your campaigns will live, whether they are currently active, meaning that they have recipients going through the motions of the campaign or inactive, which means that they don't have any recipients in flight, but are there for you to add recipients when you're ready to do so. Now to create a new campaign, you just want to click on the blue new campaign button here in the upper right. And the very first thing that you'll want to do is name your campaign. Now remember, you can use these campaigns over and over again, so I always recommend being very specific in your naming convention. That way you can easily find it later instead of leaving it as the default, which is the date. Next, you can add recipients. And it's worth noting that while you can add recipients now, you don't have to add recipients now. So if you'd prefer to skip down to the touches section and build out your plan for your series of emails, save and exit, and then come back and add recipients later, you can. And when you're ready to add recipients, you have a number of different methods of doing so. You can import a contact or a lead list from Salesforce if you have our enterprise plan. Or with our enterprise plan, you can search Salesforce for just an individual and add someone individually. And then with premium and enterprise plans, you can manipulate this table, you know, update the column headers or add rows and add columns, or you can upload a CSV file. And your prospect list is limited to a thousand recipients. Now, once you've added your recipients or decided that you're going to skip add recipi adding recipients for now, you can come down to the touches section. And this is where you compose your email, schedule when you want us to send it out, and then we'll send it out for you automatically on the back end to the recipients that you have either already added or then add later. And you can start from scratch and writing out your email, or you can also insert a template. So if you have a template that seems to be working well for you, you can scale up your messaging with that. If you want to include a signature with cam this campaign, you can create a signature specifically in campaigns because we will not grab your Microsoft signature. So create your signature in campaigns and just make sure that this is toggled on and then that signature will be picked up. And then when do you want us to send out this email? It does default to as soon as you finish setting up the campaign or you could schedule it for a specific date and time. And you may have noticed that in the template that I inserted, I have a ton of text fields in here. And as long as these text fields match exactly with the column headers that you have imported, when you go to the preview and personalize section, which you should always be doing, You'll notice I now have three very hyper personalized emails that are going out to my recipients. Now I started with a template, so I already had those text fields in there, but if you're starting from scratch, you can use this insert merge field button, which will look at all of the column headers that you have imported and help you to put those in the body of your email with the correct formula. So that way, when you go to preview and personalize, it now shows up. Now, like the name would suggest in the preview and personalize area, you can personalize for individual recipients here. You would just click their name, click into their compose area, write your personalization, 
and then click apply personalization. And now that has been customized for that individual recipient. Now, once you've set up your email and scheduled when you want that to go out, you can decide if, you know, this is a, a one email blast, you're done with this, or if you want to continue to add touches to this. So you can continue to add email touches. There's no limit to the number of touches that you put together. You can have as many as you would like. You just need to decide after how many business days that next email is going to be sent out. And the language here is that if there is no connection, start the next touch. So what that means is if your recipient does not reply to the original or preceding touch, then send out that next email. If they do reply, remove them from the campaign. But you might choose to have your recipients continue to get their emails even if you or they respond to the email. So in the settings section, you can uncheck remove recipients after connection. And now the language in between each touch changes so that it's just after a certain number of business days, go ahead and send out that next touch. So it all kind of depends on what your needs are there. And as you're building out that next touch, you know, decide when you want that to be sent out. If you need to insert any merge fields, go ahead and put those in. Always go to preview and personalize for every touch that has any kind of text fields in there, just to make sure that everything's displaying the way that you expect. Now in the settings section, again, need to decide if you want to remove recipients after connection, which is the default. And then if you're sending any hyperlinks or templates that include template attachments, do you want those to be tracked? And then this BCC email address area. If you have a premium plan and you have a CRM that provides a BCC email address, go ahead and plug that in there and we'll BCC all of these emails to your CRM. If you have an enterprise plan, if you're reaching out to anyone who has an email address that matches an email address associated with the contact or a lead record in your Salesforce environment, those emails are going to automatically sync to Salesforce. So you can skip the BCC email address area. And lastly, you need to acknowledge that Outlook has a daily message limit because if you send out a thousand emails using campaigns and then go about your daily business in Outlook, you could potentially lock yourself out of Outlook. So you just need to acknowledge that. And then something else to be mindful of there is that we do stagger our sends, meaning that we send them out little by little so that there's no impact on your spam score. So if there's any kind of time crunch, just keep that in mind because if you do have a very large list, it could take a while from that very first email to the very last email to be sent out. Okay, now that you've gotten your recipients, you have scheduled when you want these emails to be sent out, you can click start campaign. If you already added recipients like we did, you do not want to hit save and exit. Save and exit would only make sense if you haven't added any recipients and you're going to add recipients later. But because we've added our recipients, we want to click start campaign. So great, our three recipients have been added. They are now considered in flight, which just means that they're going through the motions of this campaign. And now if you'd like to preview what your recipients are going to get, you can click on each individual recipient and take a look and see what they're going to get. And for any touches that aren't scheduled to be sent right away, you can also personalize in this area as well. and click save personalization. And now that touch was personalized for Carolyn, but if I were to go to all recipients and look at, let's say, Alaya, you'll notice that second touch doesn't have that extra personalization there. And the only ones with personalization are these two, 
because we personalized this one in the preview and personalized section and just did this one in the recipients page.